guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episode 4 of Lapis Relight. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You know, I still, I don't know why. Maybe I should wait a day later. I don't think it'll be late. That or I need to go somewhere else to tell <laughs> Lapis because it's still weird to have. The Universal logo in it! I mean, mmm. It makes me feel like I'm watching a movie. <laughs> no. Oh, this episode is about the- okay, okay. About those girls. Mm -hmm. Someone named Kayene in this series, and she's the one who's short. She's so cute. Oh, it would have been funny if like Sorami was playing her, but no. I mean, because like as someone who really just you know, if your name starts with a K, you are instantly best girl in my book because my name begins with a K. Even though like my YouTube name begins with a Q, but my real name begins with a K. So, any character, boy or girl. Whose names are the king? Always best girl, boy, in my opinion. So. But it's gonna be interesting to see these girls because I had always assumed, like, when we first saw them in the, um, not even in the game uh, trailer, I think it was more like promotional art. I don't know why. I thought I wasn't gonna really like them. I thought they were going to be like, not the least interesting group, but it seems like Kayere and her group are going to be very interesting for me. So then would they be considered that middle group? It's not, it's not rogue, I believe. No, no, yeah, rogue, not noir, because noir is um supernova. It's not cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's girl. Gonna try yeah, I did. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm guessing, you know, she only knows her because of Elsa. <gasps> Kay! <laughs> so cute and her voice is adorable. Oh my god. He's a tiny baby. Oh my god. Does she have to be in a club? No. Okay, well, that makes sense, but... Mm -hmm. I 
I will say, like, Kayani's voice, it sounds familiar, and I think I know who that is. I don't know if it is truly her, but it sounds like her. Her baby. So then if Kayane and Nashville are sisters, the other girl must be like their friend. Really? Okay, so all three of y'all are sisters. The rock and roll thing. Basically, this is just for her younger sister to go back and like get along with each other. Really? <laughs> this is what she's like, what's your face? Or <laughs> she's Coco. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's like another level. Is this the occult club? That's awesome.
pretty. Honestly, you it really was. <laughs> it's okay though. Well, geez, Rose. <laughs> I mean, jealous much? Yeah. Even if you guys like different things. Well, I mean, yeah, they are weird, but I mean, it's just one of the many reasons why you love them so much, right? And she's a part of this like really big group that hopefully we get an episode on because I need that context, please. Because your girl knows like that much. It makes me kind of wonder, like, the things that um, Nadeshko was talking about, the monsters that are out there, that has to be the reason why they're all training to be witches, but then there has to be, like, something else. Because we're, we're four episodes into this show, and we don't really know what's going on on, like, the outside world of this town. And so hopefully, I mean, if it doesn't show anything in the anime, the game will give us more context on it. But she knew how dangerous it was, though. Mm -hmm. It would be better to at least ask, like, the headmistress to go with you guys.
Well, I mean, you got a nice punch and a nice throw. What else can you have? Me? I mean, she is just, oh my God. <laughs> Well, it seems like these are the monsters that we're going to be going against in the game. No, Nadeshko's fine. Oh, Kayane! You don't hurt yourself, please. <clears throat> She's a little childish, but charming. No matter what, she went to the room. So cute. Oh! Nadashko? Mm -hmm. Oh! Come here. Hmm? Did Tia do something? Oh. Come here. Mm -mm. Come here. Yeah. Hi, she come here. No. My dog is hard headed. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think you guys want to fall again. It, that too, but... <laughs> Okay. 
literally all three of them together like that reminds me of Sakura from Aikatsu and why I love her so much. Okay, so the relationship of Kayane and her sisters is too freaking cute. I mean, they kind of, they don't bicker as much as I kind of thought they were, because let's see, like, the group that bickers the most is um, Sadistic Candy, which is Lucifer and Angelica, because they bicker like, so much. I mean, we all saw that last week. So coming into this week and seeing Konohana's um, together, I was thinking, like, Maybe out of the three, they would have figured maybe a lot more than Sadist and Candy, but it's really more of Nadeshko and, um, I'm about to say Kirby, Kayane. But it's just, like, more still cutesy, though. I mean, it's a little harm, no foul, and it's like that. But they're just so adorable. Um, too funny. <laughs> the oldest, I love her. She is literally Kokoa from is the order a rabbit like in a nutshell if she was a lot more older and she had um two younger sisters instead of like Coco being the youngest sister and then her sister being the eldest and then it's like that but they're just so cute i, I love the fact that you know nadesco was trying to do everything to go get the stuff for kaede because that's how much she loves her that's just a cute little adorable happy family episode i like their song it's good i think they're i haven't heard both of their songs so this would be their third newest song i haven't heard i think i've heard like the very first one like the maybe like the first 30 seconds of it maybe oh, so they are gonna perform next week okay but yeah, like any time when i see these two and I even said it last week. They do give me the Kiradin, um Anzu vibes. I mean, but like Kiradin and Anzu don't really argue that much. But I mean, it's more of Kiradin is the older sister to Anzu's youngest. Because the first time when I met Anzu and Idol Master Cinderella Girls, when I watched that anime and I did a reaction on it, I was thinking Anzu was like this 10. 12, 13 year old girl who will always like to sleep. And everybody's like, no, she's 17. And I'm like, what? Like, if she's 17, then I'm like this age. And, and it's like that. And so, I mean, even though it, it seems like Lucifer doesn't really um, it, sleep all the time, but uh, in the openings, we do see her sleep most of the time. And, but it seems like, yes, I feel like the, the creators of the show was looking at Anzu and Kiranin for inspiration of these two because I mean, 
<laughs> like, come on. You like tell me you don't look at them and not see Anzu and Kiradin when you look at these two. I mean, I, like the first time when I saw the promotional art for these two, I was like, um, and I, I think I put it on like a really old Twitter tweet. Uh, whenever I saw the PA and the PB uh, artwork and stuff and I was like look at these two and tell me they're not the same but yeah I mean I think Kayane and her sisters are freaking adorable going back to them and they're sweet and I hope we get to have more episodes it seems like from the preview for this next episode we are going to get it I'm still wondering about um specifically when Supernova gonna get their episode when is the girls um the group with the four girls as of right now they only have three because I feel like there is going to be an episode where we're going to get that last girl to come in. So it has to be soon. Because, I mean, even though this is only episode four. And I think this is supposed to be like a 12 episode series. I have to check again. Um, I honestly really don't know. But, you know, I honestly cannot wait to see what the heck is going to happen next for these girls. And plus seeing Tia and Rose and everybody else, aka Light, perform. Because I think they're going to be like the last girls in the groups to perform. Possibly. I ain't gonna know yet. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Lapis Relights. So if you guys enjoyed it, believe give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode five. Bye, guys.